everybody this is diane and we're on day 14 we've just finished our second week of our 30-day challenge we're halfway through hopefully you're halfway through to gaining the skills that you need to land your dream job this is the final day that we're going to talk about linkedin and there's so much more we've talked about how important linkedin how there's 150 million users in the united states 30 million client companies 20 million jobs posted at any one given time 44 percent of all linkedin users have incomes of 75,000 or more this is where the elite in america hangs out this is if you want a professional administrative career position you need to be actively on linkedin 61 percent of people have a free account you really don't need um, to have a paid account you can accounts start at $30, $29.95 or something like that for um, job seekers, but you can do a lot with your free account. And it's really important that you understand the numbers. And I'm gonna go over a little bit what the number is. If you go to your LinkedIn profile under on the little, if you have the one with the little sidebar so you can see your, your flow, not the one where your picture's across the full, but just the little sidebar that has your photo and some information. If you go down there, you're going to find some um, valuable information. You're gonna find a dashboard and that dashboard has three numbers in it. It's really important that you understand that the first number is the number of times that you've appeared in a search in the last 90 days, three months, okay? So if it's 100 is that number, that means only 33 people a month see your LinkedIn profile. If it's 500, that means uh, 450, means 150 people a month see your profile and that is a function of how active you are and how well built out your profile is if you have the keywords and people are searching for you if you engage you write articles you do posts um, you engage with other people's comments you do updates you congratulate people the more active you are the more people will visit your page very interesting statistic that to get a job your LinkedIn profile has to be seen between 300 and 500 times. That's just this average metric. So if you're not getting at least 100 views a month, which means a, a, a number of 300 there, then that means it's gonna take you maybe 10 months to get a job. So one of the ways you can accelerate your job search is to really get active in LinkedIn. Um, it's also a number that um, tells you um, how many posts, if you have articles and posts, it's gonna give you a number of how many people see your article every day. And then the third number really there is about search appearances, how many times you've been searched for in the past week. So it's really important that you look, learn at those numbers. And it's critical that you know that you need 501 connections because that's the magic number. Over 500, then LinkedIn is going to start um, promoting you to recruiters. Recruiters aren't gonna see you if you've got 20 or 30 or 50 or 118 connections. Connections are really important. It means that you're an active working professional. So you really need to drive your connections up to at least 501. I actually was working with a man and he had like 20,000 um, connections. That's huge. Okay, I probably only have about 3,500 myself and I'm pretty active on LinkedIn. Um, some of the other numbers that you need to know is um, skills and endorsements. We talked a little bit about this yesterday. You need at least five skill categories and your goal is 99 plus and you want to have recommendations, at least 15 recommendations given and 15 recommendations received. Um, if you go all the way down to the bottom, you will see there's a field that has five different fields. One is accomplishments. You can put in awards that you've received, things that you've um, been honored, name, man of the year, whatever, um, awards. It also shows you the courses, and I take it as courses that I've teach as opposed to some people do it, courses that they've taken. You can do it that way. Number of languages that you speak and what they are, the organizations that you belong to, and the number of publications. You can also go all the way up into LinkedIn. There's a menu bar right at the top that says add more sections. So you can see if there's other things relevant to your industry that you want to add there. There's so much to learn about LinkedIn. That's why I encourage you to go online and um, Go to www.reinventmycareerin30days.com. Go into the challenge. There's a lot of content there. And um, in the challenge, you'll also find my book, 
brand to master social media. I'm giving this away for free in a PDF. There's also a book in there. Um, master your LinkedIn profile. So there's another ebook in there. And that's just some of the different um, books that I'm, I'm offering in the course. So please register and we're going to get going. Um, go inside the course. I'll meet you in there tomorrow. We start week three and we're going to start to talk about acing the interview and how powerful that is for you. So um, check back tomorrow and we will see you inside the challenge. Click and let's get going. Take care. This is Diane Huth, the Accidental Career Coach, wishing you the best of career success. Bye-bye.